Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel today. That will be super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford C-Max, Ford Fusion, Lincoln MKZ. What's common between these cars, guys? Actually, the engine that they use, it's the same. We'll be explaining about a hybrid engine. But even if you have a non-hybrid, it will work as well where the upstream oxygen sensor is located, also known as Bank 1. Uh, oxygen sensor bank one sensor one stay with us and we'll explain that in this video today and how we can actually test those sensors all that will be covered in this video today before we start let me tell you a little bit about us guys every single car we get here at the garage we try to make it to the 300 free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making these absolutely free videos another thing if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts tools uh, anything for your car guys check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our tools and supplies from so let's go ahead and start on it now so let's go ahead open the hood and, and we need to talk first and explain what is upstream oxygen sensor what is downstream oxygen sensor uh, now also the upstream is known as uh, oxygen sensor bank one sensor one downstream is known as oxygen sensor bank one sensor two the upstream oxygen sensor detects guys how much fuel and air you still have in the exhaust system it sends that information to the engine computer which will actually uh, calculate the best ratio so you have a nice clean running engine guys that's efficient and uh, it's not uh, using too much okay too much fuel so uh, the downstream oxygen sensor is the one that detects if the catalytic converter is doing its job practically guys so now if you remove the upper engine cover on your hybrid engine if you have a hybrid you need to remove it we have a video on the channel that explains how to do that my camera is too big to actually get in there guys but i will show you now we're going to get the endoscope here so i can show because i will not be able to fit the camera with the lightning gear but if we come right there now guys okay right there that's uh, okay let's just uh, let me let me put it right there so you can kind of see okay perfect right there you can see where we are right here in the middle guys on the catalyst on the exhaust manifold if you look at it now okay let's go a little bit to the right the other way okay right there that's your oxygen sensor guys that's upstream oxygen sensor it's right behind the cylinder head okay on the exhaust manifold before the catalytic converter that's your oxygen okay sensor right there guys you can see okay where okay it's uh, located now the tool that we use guys to replace those okay once you get it and see where it is you can get a tool like that that's the socket it's very inexpensive i'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from for a really good price you go ahead and remove it if you need to buy new sensors for a good price we'll share the link as well it's very important to use original sensors in my opinion based on our experience because they last longer and they're more accurate in some cases we had good luck with aftermarket ones as well but not always guys not always and uh, uh that's uh, that's where it's uh, located you can see now if i can get the camera just past that point you will be able to see it directly so uh you get the idea guys hopefully the video will be helpful to any of you trying to find out where it's located if you see if you want to see how to test it we will have a video on the channel that will teach you how to test upstream oxygen sensor just search for that and you will see thank you for watching and see you guys next time